Welcome to ActNotes Tutorials, my name is Professor Bert, and I am going to give you a quick tutorial on the earned value management metrics called Budget Cost of Work Scheduled, or what we call BCWS. What is Budgeted Cost of Work Scheduled? Budgeted Cost of Work Scheduled, also called the Planned Value, is the sum of the budget for all work scheduled to be accomplished with a given time period. It also includes the cost of previous work completed and can address a specific period of performance or a date and time. The definition of budgeted cost of work scheduled is the planned value of the work plan to be accomplished in a period of time. The benefits of calculating budget cost of work scheduled for any project team are Provides a baseline, allows project personnel to compare actuals versus planned Projects future costs, highlights when projects will exceed costs Identifies issues, highlights issues and cost versus schedule for project personnel. And finally, shows cost as a point in time, shows project personnel a snapshot of expected costs for any work performed. There are six steps associated with calculating budgeted cost of work scheduled. These steps are Step 1, develop project's total budget. Step 2, track your BCWS. Step 3, track your budgeted cost of work performed. BCWP. Step 4. Determine the cost variance. Step 5. Communicate with key stakeholders. And finally, Step 6. Review at project completion. I will go into more detail on each step next. Step 1. Develop project's total budget. Your project total budget will be the total costs needed to complete the project including labor, material, incidentals, and operations. Now you divide your project into many phases and assign a total budget for each phase. This breakdown of cost per phase is the foundation of budgeted cost of work scheduled. In step 2, you track your budgeted cost work scheduled. In this step, you track your BCWS by applying the BCWS equation against a point in time. The equation is listed here. BCWS equals percent complete, planned, times project budget. In step 3 you track your budgeted cost of work performed. This is where you track the budgeted cost of work performed, versus where you are on the budget. The equation is listed here. BCWP equals percent complete, actual, times project budget. In step 4 you determine the cost variance. In this step, you compare both budgeted cost work scheduled and budgeted cost work performed to determine the actual cost of work performed. This will determine the cost variance. The cost variance will inform project personnel if the project is over budget or under budget at any point in time. The equation is listed here. Cost variance equals budgeted cost work performed minus actual cost work performed. In step 5, you communicate with key stakeholders. The overall goal of any earned value is to inform project members and stakeholders on the progress of a project in terms of cost and schedule. Budgeted cost work scheduled informs project members on where the project stands versus budget. It highlights problems so everyone on the team can address them and compensate for any shortfalls. In step 6 you review at project completion. In the final step, an assessment should be completed comparing the actual cost of each phase to the initial planned cost. This will help identify issues but also help in developing lessons learned for the next project planned. A few of the reasons that projects overrun are not enough time allowed for initial planning. Funding instability. Requirements creep. Lack of detailed information in the beginning. Missing budget items. And finally, inefficient resource planning. Thank you for watching this tutorial about budgeted cost of work scheduled. For more information visit the webpage. Congratulations on finishing this tutorial and thanks for visiting ACT Notes.